Welcome to another episode of Dan TDM Follows a Minecraft Farm Tutorial. <laughs> but first, an apology. That's right. I need to make an apology to the one and only creator of Optifine. Whoever you may be, I apologize. I have fixed this stupid farm. I <laughs> it has literally taken me like four hours to try and fix this. But I think I'm pretty much done. I added these bits on top, the glowstone, the slabs, so hopefully... The golems won't like spawn on top, but look, I've got Optifine on, I'm zooming in, and he's looking at me as he dies. So sad, but so grateful that this thing is working now, because that means we now officially have unlimited iron. What did I do to fix it? Well, I found out that one of my villagers in here died, and as soon as I replaced him, it worked. Oh, look at that. Three stacks of iron. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take these because I need to make some hoppers today. Because today, we are going to be making a... What, what am I making? An XP farm. That's right. So we can heal all of our tools unlimitedly. Add mending to literally everything. Create whatever armor we like. Because, for example, if we were fighting the Wither again, we could go for blast protection instead of normal protection. That kind of stuff. It makes it really flexible. And all of the ingredients in here, apart from the 27 hoppers that we need. And hopefully, this will cover it. This shouldn't take too long. Um, it's a very simple farm and basically works off of... I think it works off of cacti and bamboo. Because you can use bamboo as a fuel source, I'm pretty sure. And then you just let all the experience build up in the furnaces, take the green dye out from the cacti, and you get yourself a whole bunch of experience. And it's meant to be really easy. It's also meant to be incredibly noisy as well, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Anyway, let's make some hoppers, shall we? We need to make 27. Do we have enough? Oh, look at that! Oh, the iron farm coming in clutch, and we still have 57 left, which means... We should be able to start adding. Oh, look at this. We've got this too. Sweet. But we can start adding to our beacon soon so we can get these insta mining blocks. Right. Let's craft this thing, shall we? I should have every single item available to me. This is great. So I'm going to use wool blocks to kind of build it because I've been using wool blocks anyway. It's suggested that you build it in the sky, but building in the sky is so annoying. Like, I can't even explain to you how annoying this was to build because it had to be in the air. Hey. Go to your death, buddy. I also fixed the water as well, by the way. The water was getting the iron golem stuck at some point. Some of them were spawning up here. But all is good. All is well. The iron farm is producing a lot of iron. Um, where should I put this? I feel like this should be like my farm section. So I think I'm going to build it here, to be honest. So let me build the first section. And then we'll get to like the gubbins. And then we'll, we'll start working on it. I also want to build the wool farm as well. Because I'm going to need a lot more wool soon. Okay, so I built the first little bit. It kind of looks like a V shape. And then we need to grab some of our redstones. We need this, this. I have no redstone torches. This is fantastic. It's going well so far that I've missed ingredients. Watch me need something incredibly important. And it just, just isn't here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh my goodness, that's the first time I have made redstone torches. That's amazing. So we need to do torch here and then torch here. Also this and this and then lever on this side, I'm pretty sure. So this is going a little bit uh, above expectations for my redstone skill compared to what we've done before, which is an automatic sheep shearer and a bounce pad. <laughs> we also want to go ahead and turn this on. Oh, I'm going to give credit as well. I am following the tutorial by OMG Craft, the link in the description. I think he's following the tutorial of someone else, so go and check those out. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to build this farm. Next up, we need to sleep because it's getting late, but I'm going to put my pistons in. We're going to grab these and the sand as well. So the sand is going to be what you grow your stuff on. <laughs> the sweet sound of death. I love it. We're also going to see how much we're going to make from this. It's going to be great. So, sand in the middle. I think a sticky piston goes this side, one this side, normal like this, normal like this, and then sand here. And then it kind of moves it backwards and forwards when the machine is on, which is pretty cool. Right. I'm going to sleep, research the next stage, and then we're going to carry on. This shouldn't actually take too long to build. I think this is going to be easy. Remember I said that. Just in case it ain't easy, okay? All right, so next up, we need some bambiddle, which is over here. How you doing, little sheep? Oh my goodness, he must be sore from all this shearing. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. All right, give me this bamboozle. There we go. All right, let's grab as much as we can. I knew I had these farms for a reason. Is this guy making carrots yet? 
Okay, he's back to making carrots. Good boy. Good boy. So I forgot to add a piston here. And then also a piston here. And apparently, if we add the bamboo like this, but it can't be a baby one. It has to be a... Uh... Oh, jeez. It has to be a grown one. How do I do that? Do I just have to wait for it? Or can I bone meal it? I'm going to try and bone meal it. Uh! Will it bone meal? That is the question. It does! Sweet! Okay, perfect. I didn't need all of this bone meal with me, did I? And apparently, this is ready to work now. I, I don't want to press the lever just in case it breaks. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway and see what happens. Bop! Oh, that's so loud. Is it that loud over here, though? No, see, that's perfect. I didn't need to, I didn't need to make it um, in the air. I'm glad I didn't do that now. But now, <laughs> when we're close to it, it's super loud! So loud, but apparently, if we break this... It should just continue growing. So break it like that. Oh my goodness, it works. I'm not sure how this works. It must just reset how the bamboo is grown. But this is the first part. And then we put a piston over the top to cut it off. And that's how the bamboo works. So, first part done. Sweet. So now we needed to mirror this. But it had to be one block higher than this, apparently. I hope I've done this right. And then we just do the same again. So this is going to go here. And I think it was redstone on top. No, it was redstone on these bits. One, two. I think we do the sticky pistons the same as well. Yeah, so lever was here, right? In between. It's kind of weird because it's like the opposite. And then... Oh, jeez. I think it's here. Sticky... Oh, that's sand. Sticky piston. Sticky piston. Normal piston up top. Actually, we needed this and this. No! No, stop! Stop! Stop that at once, you crazy man. You're gonna get me killed. You're gonna get me killed! Yeah, I think it's this, this, and then the same on the bottom. Cool. Dunzo. And this one is for the cactus, so let's just go and nick one of these from the desert biome. And this is actually a fairly easy thing to build. I thought it was gonna be way more difficult, but this is fine. I can deal with this. I think we only need one piece of cactus. And this can be our entire farm just for cacti, which is sweet. So bop. And then this, when turned on, should be able to grow cactus. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit longer than the bamboo takes. But it's pretty good. That's obviously going to break. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is sick. This works. It's going well, guys. Two things working in one episode so far. That's pretty good. We actually don't have that many materials left. So I'm guessing this isn't going to take too long to finish off. Our observers are what are going to, I think, help to break each section. And then when those drops happen, they then get funneled into furnaces. And then you get the experience from the furnaces. I'm pretty sure. So let's build this section now. And then you can just kind of like make it as long or as wide, as, as productive as you want. But obviously it's going to be pretty loud. So I need to be on the cacti side. And this can happen, I think, wherever. So as long as it's on one of these sides, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Is that right? That might be facing the wrong way. I need the red dot to be there. Let's see if it works that way. If not, I need to spin it around. I think that might be the wrong way, but we'll see. So then you do your solid block and then your piston, I think, over the cactus. Let me get rid of this for a second. Stand on this. And that should power it and then take off the uh, take off the drop, push it off. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm starting to learn some redstone here because redstone can travel through one block. A solid block anyway, so hopefully wool counts. And then we do the same on this side. So this needs to be... Could it be opposite or the other side? I don't know. I'm going to put it on the same side. So observer, solid block, then like this. Yeah, that should, that should bump it off, right? Let me just reset this bamboo because it's getting pretty out of hand already. It's just growing by itself. So now we need to grab the items that fall off. I'm pretty sure that's it made. It looks pretty fantastic, actually. I'm not going to lie. It looks great. And we need some chests. We're probably going to need all this stuff, so let's just grab it. 27 hoppers. My goodness. Let's get rid of all this messy dirt right now. There we go. All cleaned up. And now we need to put a chest here and a chest here. This is going to grab the stuff that comes out. Oh, it's hopper time. That's right. Let's grab this dirt. And then let's put the hoppers that we spent. We literally made an iron farm just for these hoppers. So we need to put one on each. And I think that will capture. This will go into the bottom one. And this will go into the top one. You scared me there. Hello. You've come to see and marvel at my mastery, haven't you? 
Yeah, you're telling your llamas, you're like, hey, check this guy out. He's number one. Oh, you sell blue ice. That's pretty dope. Um, might need to capture you, actually. Uh, <laughs> bro, um, okay, I knew you were going to do that. Can I put you in a boat or a minecart? You know what? Stay there. I'm going to go and sleep and try and capture you, okay? I love that they do that. They just kind of, like, disappear on you at nighttime so they can't get hurt. That's amazing. I love that little trick they do. Is he still down? Yeah, he's still down there. Okay, let's have a quick sleepals. Night, night, little kitties. And let's grab ourselves a boat. Pretty sure we have a boat. There we go. Getting a little bit distracted, but I kind of need the blue eyes for a project. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford his extreme price of six emeralds per one blue ice. But it is for a future project. If you could get on the boat, please, sir, that would be great. Thank you. You stay here. It's going to be very noisy here, though, okay? Now, what was I doing? I think I was putting hoppers down. Okay, now we need to protect our stuff. I think I need some more glass, actually. But we need to do... I think it's this, this, this. Because the bamboo is never going to grow higher than that anyway. And then we do this and this. And this. Yeah, I need some more glass. Let me go grab some. How did I miscount my glass? What am I doing? Maybe I used it for something else. So same here, like this. And I think that contains everything, right? That's just so that the items don't go everywhere. They just stay where you need them to be to go straight into the hoppers. So it's kind of like a little tubing system, which is kind of cool. So the right stuff goes into the right place. I like it. So I think we can turn this on now and see if it works. Bop. Cover your ears, guys. It's going to be loud. Is that working? I think it's working. Look at this. Glorious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn that off real quick because that is noisy. Uh, was that noisy for you guys? Are you okay with this? You can be guarder of the farm. Um, so now we need to do our furnaces. I did pick them up. Why have I only got three? What am I doing? I didn't build enough. I definitely got enough cobblestone to make those, though. But apparently, we only can do five. I think it's the maximum for this. So let's quickly make some furnaces. Let's go for... Let's just make all of them. I mean, why not? Look at it. From a distance, it looks like some crazy piece of machinery. We can also decorate it afterwards to make it look kind of normal. Maybe make a giant cactus. That would be great. That would be so good. Um, Let me get rid of this, 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 this. Now we need to put it directly under here. No, the cactus chest, apparently. So here... I think. And then we go to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. Five furnaces. So this is where we're going to get our experience from. And oh, this is where the hoppers get real interesting. So I should be able to put five in like this. And those should be feeding those. And then I think hoppers need to go, if you're facing your furnaces, to the left. So basically, as the, the guy explained in the video, everything tries to go this way, but only if the hoppers are full, I think. So when this gets full, because what we're going to be doing is cooking cactus in this. If I turn the machines on real quick, this should start to fill up with bamboo. Hey, let's go. This is good. This is good going. This is actually a really simple farm to make. So yeah, this will fill up, and then when we get the cactus joined up as well, the cactus will then smelt and fill up both slots, which is awesome. And then, same on the other side. So if I put some blocks here, we should have... Because this is going to be the cactus. This is going to go into the top part of the furnace. So bottom part of the furnace, you go in... Put your, put your hoppers in the back of the furnace, and then you put these in the top. That will go into the top slot. So hopefully that will make sense. And then... Once we do this, which is exactly the same, it'll go into here. Then when this is full, it'll go into here. And I think it's working already. It is. Look at this. And then every time, so the way this farm works, every time something is smelted and then you take this out, so you're going to have copious amounts of green dye. Every time you take that out, you get a piece of experience. And what this machine is going to do is going to fill all of this up. The furnace then remembers that you've cooked all of that, take it out. And you get an absolute butt ton of experience. So I think we're almost done here. Okay, next bit I didn't actually expect to have to do, but I should be able to do it. If I go, I think it's like this. This is going to take it out and put it somewhere. And then I need the chest. You can see why I needed so many hoppers now. This is insane. So this should take out, and I get rid of this block here. This should take out, yeah, the die. 
and put it in here when it's been smelted. Obviously, the machines aren't on right now, so that's all good. The problem is, though, all of this is coming out too quickly, and we're getting no experience for this. So, the last bit is a line of redstone and one lever. So, while this lever is on, the hoppers shouldn't work. So, it gives us a chance to take it out, I think, and grab the experience. And I'm pretty sure that is the machine done. Looks very complex when it's done, but very, very easy. I've just made this in, what, like 10 minutes? Oh, I've just realized what this bit's for. Okay, so you turn this off, and then all of it will go this way. However, the way this works is they've changed Minecraft recently so that the furnace remembers the XP that's been stored, even if the item is left. So if I turn this on... It's gotta be real loud. Apologies. It's a loud machine, but it should work. And we should see... Let's go a little bit further back. We should see these, yeah, start lighting up. And that means that it started to create the green dye. But the green dye disappears instantly and you can't grab it. But the experience is starting to be stored up in this furnace already. But when you want... So when you want to grab the, the green dye and activate all your experience, you just need to pull that lever, activate the redstone, and then you're good to go. Uh, this isn't too bad, actually. I need to be about 10, 15 blocks away from it for it to not be noisy. And that's our unlimited XP farm. So while that is cooking away, I actually made the perfect amount of hoppers. That's good. Right, let's take this down because we don't need this anymore. Let's grab this. And I think we need to... Well, we need to make this area look a lot prettier anyway. But I really want to do this. I want to make it into a... We could even make it into a cactus or an experience orb. I'm not quite sure how I would do an orb, though, because a dome is going to be ridiculous. Or I could just do the words XP in front of it. Um, I think a cactus. I want to make a giant cactus. But I also want to find out how to make concrete. Because concrete is really cool. Concrete powder. So you need sand and gravel for that. That shouldn't be too hard to make green concrete and then you just put water on it is that right i'm pretty sure we're gonna have an absolute ton of green dye so we're gonna be fine for green dye so i think we should leave that farm going now that we've got iron going as well we should be able to finish this off and make this look a little bit prettier i kind of want the the sheep to look like they're in test tubes which i think would be great let's go and check on our iron farm real quick oh yeah i also had a little accident down here um one of my villagers while i was up the top while i was up here fixing everything i actually broke everything so <laughs> a villager escaped this man down here is just chilling so i'm not quite sure what to do with him so uh i'm just gonna keep him there for now i don't want to break anything else all right, let's check how much. We had probably about nine iron in here before. Let's let this guy die and see how lucrative this is being so that we can start powering up our beacon because we need, I think we need like 124 or something ridiculous. Oh, oh, that looks great. We've gone up a stack and a half in 20 minutes. That's so good. I can actually make, I need to make some more hoppers, don't I? I need to make one. Oh, I need to make this whole row. Actually, I don't, I don't think we're missing out on anything. So maybe I don't need to make any more. I'm going to leave this in here. Obviously, we're collecting roses as well, just in case we need red dye. But I need to collect gravel and sand to make concrete so we can make a giant cactus around here. Yeah, we just need dark green and light green to create this. So let me go and find loads of gravel. I've definitely got loads of sand. But let's grab some more anyway. This shovel is going to make it easy mode. And then when we are finished building the outside, we can test how much experience we're going to get from this. Because I think it's going to be quite a bit. And then we can start upgrading our tools to everything with mending. And as soon as we go over there, whichever tool we're holding, that will be the one that gets mended. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's going to be awesome. Right. Show me some gravel, please, lads. Where is the gravel? Oh, there's something literally right here. Perfect. So now we just need that green dye. And we can change that dye to light green with bone meal. Pretty sure. Anyway, how is this going? 40 green dye. That should be perfect. Right. I want to make green concrete powder. How much do I want to make, though? Because cactus... Let me just pop the cactus in the item frame just so we can see it. So the cactus is three blocks light green, one block dark green... We're probably just going to make a fat cactus, to be honest. So we're actually going to need more light green than dark green. But let's grab dark green for now anyway. Green dye here. 
sand here, gravel here, 40. Okay, that might have been too much, but hey, that's fine. I think what you need to do now is make a bucket of water. I don't know if you can craft it with it or not. So I wonder if you could just do this. Okay, you can't. I think you need to, do you need to put it all down first to build it? Surely not. That would be annoying. Like having to do this and then just put water on it. Hey, see, it works though. What if I do this? Oh, you can just do that. There must be an easier way to do it, surely. I've just looked it up and apparently this is the only way to do it. So, um, yes, Mr. Turtle, this is exactly what I'm doing. It's taken a while, but I guess it makes sense. Wait. Can I just... I can't just throw it. That would be so good. Right. I've got myself some green concrete. How many... Oh, this is going to be so loud. So loud. Can we turn that off? Just for now. Yeah, blocks off. Ah, oh, silence. Silence is beautiful. There we go. It's already done 20 more. This is great. I'm going to need access to the furnaces. So it would be good if I could have it here. One, two, three. Bop. One, two, three. Bop. One, two, three. Like this. So each of these is green concrete, but it has to be one higher because I need to access these. That should work. Actually, I'm going to have to bring it forwards. So bam, 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 bam. There we go. So how tall do I want this to go? I guess I don't need it to be too tall because the more I do this, the more lime concrete powder I'm going to need. But I also don't want it to look like a weird kind of cactus. I could probably go too higher than that, I think. One, two. Sweet. This might take a lot of concrete to be able to achieve. Okay, I'm out of concrete powder, but you know what I'm going for here. So let me grab some... Actually, I could put the dark green underneath here. So I need to grab some lime dye so that I can make lime concrete powder and fill in the middle. So I'm going to do the front and then I'll finish the rest off camera just to not bore you. So for dye, we literally just need to do this, right? I'm just going to make all of it. Then concrete powder is sand like this. Gravel like this. Then I need to make light green dye. I think lime is going to be fine. Lime, concrete powder, everyone. This might be the wrong stuff, but I'm going to... I'm not going to make it all just in case it's bad, but I think I'm going to have to go with it now. <laughs> I don't really have another choice. I've just looked it up. I definitely don't have another choice. It's lime or just green. So if you want two different colors of green... That's how it's going to have to be. But now, I have to do a full stack of this nonsense. Right, donezo. Let's grab all this. We have a stack of lime dye. I just want to make these farms look good because at the minute, this one doesn't look good. I'm going to change every single piece of this, by the way, to grass. I just haven't completed that yet. It's going to take a while to do. But also, my other plan is to have haste three. So when I have haste three, it's going to be a much easier task. Okay, how much did that do? I think this is going to look cool. That's going to be a pretty green looking cactus. And then we can add... Let me have a quick look at the colors. We might have to use... What's it called? Terracotta for the spikes. But this is going to look good. I think I might have found an easier way to do this. If I put concrete powder and then just stack it to the sky, I think if it falls in by falling like sand, I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to do that. I think it might be quicker. All of it's just going to fall in and turn into concrete, which would be sick. Gosh, this is slightly dangerous, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I only took two and a half hearts of damage. That's actually amazing. <laughs> pretty risky, though. Shouldn't have done that. Right, let's do this. And I should just be able to mine it over and over again, right? Oh, I wanted it all to fall. I don't think I did it properly. This is way easier, though. <laughs> Give me this. Give me this beautifulness. That's right. If I do two, is that better? Or three? Then it should fall in by itself. It shouldn't have to be mined afterwards, I'm pretty sure. I could be completely wrong. I don't know why I didn't think of just jumping into the water last time. That was dumb. So we do this. No, nah, it's going to need to be mined. It's still kind of... It's still way quicker, though. Look at this. Dude. Got my haste on as well. Beautiful. So that's the entire front done apart from this side. And I still need to think about how we're going to be able to access the uh, the furnaces down here. I think I'm just going to have to make it like this. And then have it the, the color of the cactus. So this will have to be dark. This will be light up to here. Oh, the zombies. I forgot about the zombies. Uh, this is pretty cool, though. It's working. So we're just going to have to go down here and then collect everything that we need from there. How much you made? 
almost two stacks of cactus. So to end out this episode, because I'm gonna do this cactus bit off camera, it's just gonna be me collecting loads of um, collecting loads of concrete powder over and over again. I am just going to go ahead and see how much this experience machine is making me in terms of experience, because I feel like. I feel like that was actually pretty easy to build, and considering it worked first time, compare that to my iron farm, I'm pretty happy. Yo, get away from my sheep, boy! Oh my goodness, there's a party over here. Please, get away. All of you, get away. Leave that villager alone under there, too. You don't know he's there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Did my guy just die? Oh, he had the good trade as well. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, buddy. Did he die? Yeah, I think he died. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, one of the llamas died as well. I'm a bad person, but got some leather out of it. Uh, you stay there. How did the- how did the llama die? I'm slightly confused about that. Right, let's see how much this machine makes. So, let me turn my sound back up, because otherwise I'll forget. Ah! Oh, it's so loud. I should be able to turn this off. And then that will stop making that happen. What don't I need from this? I don't need this one piece of sand. And then we collect the green dye and go from- Okay, maybe I'll put my sound off. Jeez. Let's just put it nice and quiet. So, um, yeah, this should allow me to take this out and I should get the experience. I'm on 12 levels right now. Yeah, see that? I went from 12 to 17 and it's only been running for 15 minutes. So basically, you will leave this running for ages and you'll be able to get up to level 33 seems to be the key because that's when I could put new stuff and repair stuff as well. But how good is that? That's filling up slowly filling up to the next one. It should start to take it to different... Oh no, what's happening here? That's working. That's working. Oh, what's that doing in there? Hello? Oh, that's what broke it. It should have been more. It should have been producing more, but for some reason the bamboo went into the top? I didn't even realize you could put bamboo into the top. That's insane. So now that's going to take that away, and then you're going to be able to get that much. So we should have had three, three or four levels. Actually, that was five levels, wasn't it? 12 to 17? I'm pretty sure it was anyway. But I would have been able to get five levels from each of these. Because they were supposed to be feeding the cactus into each one. So eventually, this would be pretty insane. Then I'm going to cover it with the cactus, and we're going to have ourselves a giant cactus behind our castle, which is kind of crazy, kind of stupid, but I kind of like it. Everything will be repaired and enchanted in no time. It's just, I didn't think about the cactus being behind the castle, so the, ca the castle kind of looks a bit stupid now. <laughs> but you know what? We built ourselves an unlimited experience farm today. And I'm feeling proud of myself. It worked first time. Let's check how much iron we got, actually. Because the iron, that's going to be pretty insane. Because we've left that running the whole episode. It hasn't broken once. And let's have a quick look in here. Oh, look how much we've got. We can make that beacon soon for sure. Oh my goodness, it's OP. It's so good. That's going to be full. So yeah, guys, that's how you make an unlimited experience farm. Let me see how much I've got now. If I take out uh, this next two, let's take out this. Come up half a level, take out this. Go up another half a level. It's good. You have to leave on for a little bit longer, but it's pretty much free because you don't have to kill mobs. Mobs might be a little bit quicker, but since this can always run in the background, you'll probably get more levels from it. So that's three farms that we've got up and running and working perfectly. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Make sure you check out the tutorial that I followed in the description below, because it was very, very easy work first time. So thank you to Chad, I think his name is, for making that. Greatly appreciated. And next time, I'm going to have to think of some action. I'm going to try and finish the cactus for next time, but concrete powder is a little bit tedious to get, so hopefully I will be able to finish it. I think the next time we're going to try and do the ultimate beacon to be able to instant mine any block to go haste to. I think we're going to try that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.